In this video, I wanted to highlight a very strange case that I read online a couple of days back, which kind of started making me think that we all should have this tendency to not believe anything that comes out of AI. I recently came across this very strange case. I wanted to highlight it here and listen to your opinion. What do you feel about it? A lot of different nuances. It's not just about believing, but it's also about the bias in AI. Let's get started with that. This is a speaker who was going to uh, give a talk at a conference. So she, a female in this particular case, has uh, submitted a photo for the conference and the conference decided to show an advertisement of that person. But in that advertisement, she could see her uh, bra uh, in that picture. That was very weird because the original picture that she gave never had that. So it was it was not there. And in the picture that the conference organizers posted, it was there. So now what happened? So she decided to put both the pictures uh, side by side and then see. So this is the original picture. As you can see here, there is a pendant here and uh, there's a shirt and uh, the first two buttons are kind of open there, but there was no bra hair. Uh, so as you can see here, this is the original picture and this is the edited picture. So what has gone behind it? It could have happened in the age uh, of social media before even, you know, Photoshop where people were morphing pictures, but this is not one of those cases. This is like a genuine conference. Uh, I think a UI UX uh, conference. Uh, the conference organizers are really good. And what happened here is that, so she gave her picture to the conference organizers and somebody from the organizing team, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, somebody from the organizing team decided that the aspect ratio or the size of the picture was not good. So they decided to use uh, some a tool. In this case, I'm not sure what tool, but this is what we call in our world as out painting. So typically you have an image, but you don't have the, you know, sides of the image, you want to increase the length, you want to increase the height. So you want to outpaint it. I think I have got a tutorial about flex outpainting. So you have to outpaint it and Google pixel, the latest, most recent pixels, one of the selling points advertisement you would see again and again is this outpainting feature. So what they have done is they have cropped their picture to a particular level, probably to the neck and then try to expand the image so that it fit in the right aspect ratio on the right dimension for the conference picture. And the disaster here is that the AI, depending upon that photo, decided to add the bra there. Now you can see the difference of photos here. So there is this original photo. So probably they try to uh, crop the picture here and then try to expand it. So the ideal picture was until here. So they wanted to expand it and generative AI in this particular case managed to fill the rest of it, which did a good job with the shirt because you can see the shirt color, not very much difference. The fringes are there and everything is there. But what it managed to do is it managed to create a part below the second button and it kind of opened the shirt there and then it added bra there. And this is not the only example with uh, women's uh, out painting I've seen. I've seen a couple of other examples where people have figured out the same problem where if you take a neck level picture of a woman and then ask AI to out paint it, it most likely is uh, going to add a cleavage, you know, something that is more revealing than what they might have had uh, worn in the first place. So there are a couple of things that you should pay attention to in this one. The one of, first of all, anytime you use any AI tool, you should never believe everything that comes out of it as a hundred percent factual. I think with respect to text, we have got some kind of awareness here. I think people always talk about deep fakes, uh, how somebody can, you know, cheat you on know, all those things. But it's very important for you to think that it can happen at a much grounder level or simpler level. It doesn't have to be always at a deep fake level. You don't have to be Donald Trump or American president for somebody to use your image to cheat you. In India, at least if you're in India, there is a huge scam going on. Um, probably Indians who are watching this would know this. The scam is like this. They call your parent and uh, or somebody relative, husband, wife, spouse, somebody in your family and they use your face and then they say that your son has been caught in some kind of crime and uh, they show the video of you. So they literally show on a phone, like they take a phone and they show it to you like this. And then they say, uh, dad, I am stuck. Please help me. Uh, they are, have arrested me. They pose like legitimate police officers. So they have morphed the son's picture. They've created a deep fake. They've added son's voice. They've made all these things possible and then they are trying to make people believe that the son is actually caught in a problem and the son has to give money uh, or parent has to give money like a ransom, not like kidnapping, but more like police thing, give, have to give bribe or something to get them out. This is a very common scam at this point in India. Um, a lot of people, I hardly pick up calls because of these kind of things. 
there are a lot of scams around voice cloning you know um, um, a lot of bad things happening and you know in some way i am making tutorials that are contributing to the bad technology i think i recently ran a poll that asked a question so voice cloning uh, unethical there are a lot of different answers in fact there was an answer that said unethical and illegal but again it comes down to um, what one is going to use it for I, i think it is very similar like what you do with a knife you want to cut a finger or you want to cut a vegetable i think it's a choice that we have to make i think this channel i again i have got the principle that i am here to democratize technology and uh, i would try to make sure as much as possible not to showcase the bad things of the technology that's why like i said at the start i've always whenever i had to make a deep fake video related tutorial i've always had that skepticism if i should do that or i should not do that so with this context i would strongly encourage you to think any time you see anything out of ai a text an image a video you should always pay attention to it and then think whether it is absolutely real even if you are using it for a simplest thing as simple as out painting the second thing here is like i said if you see anything on internet have that skepticism this could be ai modified see it's not just the age of photoshop anymore so you can use ai tools and do crazy things and uh, you should have that skepticism the third thing is i came across a technology today that is as good as creating hand gestures of a human being without having the original uh, video so what you can do is you can see that there is a 60 seconds reference video and then there is a unseen target speech now what it is creating is it is using the audio and creating a video based on it so this is the original one and i'm going to play this for you so this is a very popular comedian um, but also quite popular you know thinker maybe uh, it's a uh, john oliver i guess his name is if i'm not wrong is from the uk probably originally uh, does a uh, late night show in the us and uh, does a lot of political related talking and as you can see here the ai has managed to create the gesture which uh, originally john oliver has not have uh, probably created so this is a solution called tango co speech gesture video re- reenactment with hierarchical audio motion embedding diffusion interpolation and in all these examples that you see here it is absolutely impeccable that it managed to create the hand gestures and i mean there are good use cases right you are a marketing agency you want to spin up a marketing ad uh, hundreds of ads at the same time you want to do ab testing you can do with this maybe you, you know your ad might click with an old person maybe your ad might click with a young person so you can do all sort of experimenting ab testing news anchor content creation ugc a lot of different use cases but the bad thing here is that somebody can take your picture and then give a reference video and then create something like this and then share it with your family share it or a blackmail your family or a ask for ransom or a, you know spoil your reputation on social media so the reason i'm trying to make this video here is that whether it is this example that we just discussed about the photo cropping and uh, having a bra there for a woman or uh, you know these kind of uh, photos um videos that show you something that is not real it's always important for us to have the skepticism that is the most important lesson i think the second thing that you should pay attention to i think ai training data might have had a lot of images of women with uh, let's say bra or uh, like revealing pictures so it's possible that when you use ai it carries that bias i think this is something that has been happening since the machine learning era when you build a classification model the model always takes the bias because the model doesn't know what it should not learn rather the model would know what it uh, is supposed to learn so it tries to overlearn sometimes and sometimes it notices these inherent patterns that are available in the training data which could have been like a noise but because we had a high density which we call as even trait sometimes we had the high even trait of pictures like this that could have created this bias in the training data set i think this is not often very spoken in the world of uh, ai and uh, i think whenever you speak about concept like ethics people are usually put off but i think this is something that we also should pay attention to we live in a society where everybody should live comfortably but uh, if we build solutions that are going to be deployed across the world um, which should be acceptable by everybody i think these biases should be taken into account i don't have an exact solution what we are going to do with this but i think as somebody who plays with technology um, you should also pay attention to this and then see if you could notice any inherent bias in ai technologies that can harm people uh, who you know for whose well being we are actually building this technology 
anyways uh, i guess this video is going to mostly tank because whenever i've got uh, videos uh, about goodwill and all these kind of things usually tanks but again as a as a creator who who's been making ai related videos especially making people use this kind of technology teaching them i thought it is a my moral obligation to make a video about this and share it with you all so that you are all aware of this and also educate your friends and family circle about this kind of adverse effects of what we have in ai and prepare them for the future that is coming the genie is out of the bottle you can't put it back only thing we can do is we can prepare well and develop the skepticism to notice these kind of patterns hope this video was helpful to you see you in another video happy prompting